Nelson Darwin Park Tech. Subscribe for more videos. Okay, guys. It's me, Imad, from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So, in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a digital sanitizer with the help of Arduino Uno. The platform we are using is the Proteus Egg Professional. Now, first of all, you need to download the library for Arduino to use Arduino inside the Proteus. How you can do it? First, you should have to Google it or you can see any of other tutorials on how to download Arduino library for Proteus. So you can easily find it. Now we will start our project. Now we need to go and take our Arduino Uno. Okay, so we will take our Arduino Uno. You can use any of the Arduino Uno. It will not, it will not make any sort of problem. So this is our Arduino Uno. Now we need to take our sensor that is called as the PIR sensor. So and one more thing that you will not find this PIR sensor within your Proteus. So the link for this file is given in the description. So you can download the file from the link that we have given in the description. So now this sensor that is PIR sensor will give the sensor will give the signal to the Arduino when some sort of hand is detected. So now we need to go uh, and take some logic state. A logic state. This is our logic state, so we need to connect it with the signal pin and out pin must be connected with the A0 pin of the Arduino Uno. We need to double click on the sensor, then click on attach hierarchy module, and then we need to go to child sheet. And here we will do some, some basic function that is input and output. Okay, so this is called a sig and this must be out okay now we again need to go to parent sheet now we will see that uh, now our uh, PIR sensor is connected with the Arduino Uno now first we will see that either we are getting our signal on a pin A0 so for it we need to go to these output devices section and we will take our DC voltmeter so now we need to take ground and connect it with the okay wait yeah so wait we, we can for a while we can delete the Arduino you know to see the signal presence so here it, it is working fine okay now we will again take our Arduino you know Okay, now we need to go to our Arduino code. So this is our Arduino code we have written so far. I will explain it to you, but uh, first we will run it and we will take its hex file link. So this is the hex file link of the Arduino Uno. Okay, wait. This is the hex file link. So we need to copy it. Control C. Go to Proteus. And here Control V. Now we will also check the output. We will take DC voltmeter and we will check the output on pin number 7. So this is our ground and this thing. Yeah. Okay, now we will run it. Yeah, you can see that our signal on output becomes 5 volt. So now again we will see that either it is coming on its own or from our input. So it comes due to our input. Now again we will uh, make it uh, high and then we will make it low. Okay, now it becomes 0 again. Okay. 
so when we will get the signal on our pin A0 then we will get the signal on output pin number D7 so now we will take our sanitizer and this sanitizer is also not the part of this what's called as the proteus integral part of the proteus so you should have to use the same file whose link is given in the description so we need to connect it like this and we will double click and we can take it like six volts and we will give here ground okay now we need to run it okay when we will give signal okay wait because it is designed for 12 volts so we can do one more thing we can use the here relay in order to operate this but first we will see that either it's working properly or not so for it we need to use our dc source of 12 volt we will see that either it's working properly or not so yes it is working on 12 volt okay now we will go and we will take the relay that will work on 5 volts so we can change the voltages of relay so we can write any of our own choice so we will okay now this is our relay its first winding must be to the pin number 7 of Arduino and ground with the ground okay also change its voltages to 5 volts first you will see that either it will work properly or not okay yeah it's working properly okay so then now we will connect our 12 volt supply uh, this our 12 volt supply with this sanitizer and this is okay we also change it to 12 volt okay now you can see that there isn't uh, any sort of signal on pin a0 so now when we will give the signal that is the detection of hand okay now you can see that give some sort of spraying effect yeah you can see that and when we will like uh, like this then although it must have to go to its previous state yeah but uh, is we have to connect ground here i think yeah we need to connect it with the ground this side so we will take and we will connect it with the ground now now uh, okay now we will load it out oh, it's zero volt still it is like that okay wait so we can give here a signal of like one volt yeah a one volt signal hopefully it will work better although it's working properly yet we uh, are trying to restore its, its initial position so we will use here one volt okay now it's like that okay when we use to give the signal of okay then yeah now you can see that it will restore to its original position so hopefully you got this concept this simple concept of hand sanitizer with the Arduino Juno so thanks for visiting our channel